Dear science, how could you forget the greatest scientist ever lived? This This is the story of Jagdish Chandra Bose, the greatest scientist ever lived. Yes, I would place him right at the top. And not just me, many other scientists believe it too. But many of us don't even know about J.C. Bose. J.C. Bose. He wasn't born in ideal conditions. He was born in India in 1858 in an India that was constantly abused by the British. He went to a vernacular Bengali school and that was his father's choice. He wanted his son to master his own language first. He was raised in a home committed to pure Indian traditions. He was sent to England to be a doctor, but he failed because he couldn't stand the odor. But that led him to physics. He came back to India and he was the professor of physics at the Presidency College, Calcutta. He was paid just 100 rupees a month. This was just one third of any Britisher with the same qualification. Even with all these obstacles, his inventions changed the world. In 1895, Sir J.C. Bose used electromagnetic waves to ring a bell from the distance of 75 feet passing through walls just like Wi-Fi. This was two years before Marconi invented the radio. Marconi used Bose's mercury coherer that makes radio communication possible. Marconi rushed to commercialize the use of radio, whereas Bose didn't even want to patent this discovery. And not just radio. Bose generated 5 mm electromagnetic waves 60 GHz before instruments were even evolved to measure frequencies that low. The millimeter wave that J.C. Bose was working on is the backbone of 5G technology. But that's not the end of J.C. Bose's inventions. On 10th May 1901, he demonstrated that plants are also sensitive to heat, cold, light, noise and other things that animals react to, even love. He showed that a tree planted close to calm, soothing music grows faster and healthier as compared to disturbing offbeat music. He proved that plants also feel pain. When the roots of a plant are dipped in poison, the plant screams like any animal. He was the one who proposed the idea of it. Recently, a German scientist said that trees talk to each other, echoing what Bose had said many, many years ago. He invented many instruments that are still in use in microwave technology. He is one of the first Indian science fiction writers. He was so ahead of his time that he was borderline controversial. All of his life, he worked from a room that was just 24 square feet big. That's smaller than this room because he lived in a colonized India. He was always denied access to a full equipped laboratory, but he believed that true laboratory is in the mind, where behind illusions we uncover the laws of truth. India's contribution to the world is zero. How many times have you heard this statement? I want this to change. When people think about India, people talk a lot about our culture, but far less about our contribution to the modern world. I want this statement to change. I want people to give examples of not just Einstein, Edison and Marconi, but also of Bose. The question is, was Bose stupid not to patent his inventions? And the answer is no. Bose was not stupid, he was a pure scientist. And he knew that people can use his work as a base to invent something even greater. His contribution was the founding stone of wireless communication, Wi-Fi, radio, internet that we enjoy today. And he was happy to be underground as long as he made the foundation strong. And that's exactly India's contribution to the world. Throughout history, we made the foundations of our modern world strong. And that's the reason why I love India. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching our video. We are on a mission to change the way India thinks and change the way India acts. If you want to support us, share this video. Like our Facebook page, subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Instagram. Cheers.